and it serves us on the individual prowess with the LeBlanc. So Rogue, incredible engage. Uh, you've got the Weaver Starfall with the Pantheon, with the Telia. You've Ooh. got the Ornald. LPL coined it. LPL coined it. You've got the Ashul. But they see two camps pulled out. They're pinging top side. They expect Gilius is there. False information can be really dangerous here. Surtas S trading with confidence. Does not want to overextend there on the trade. Forcing no an early Trimby. flash out from Trippy. Heal coming in as well. Probably just going to need to use it for the movement speed. There's a ghost on Comp. Comp oh. going to walk away, but Trippy just going to get cut down here on the bottom side. Oh, he thought he had the info. He thought the hawk shot gave him everything he needed, but all. It led him uh -oh. to do Rogue very strong, but here comes Larson, spotted out. Here comes Malarang, here comes Larson. Gilius is farming his Grump. They can just commit to this dive. No TPs either. It's a 4v2. Surtis is trying to run down. Malarang ready to tank this out. Remember, the E doesn't block towers anymore. Knocked back for now, but stopping the play before it even matters. Malarang now going out to safety, walking away. Comp taking the aggro falls. Jezu now leaving for Jezu! Absolute mad. Here comes Surtis! Finds a kill. Fantastic punish. Surtis still sticking around. Ignite. Nope. Chains just ticking. What the hell happened in that dive for Rogue? They were 4v2. They didn't even get a kill onto Treats. No Ignite either. The heat. The nice. heal. Shivana base damage. Full tank. Just casual 300. Now we got the Herald being used on the bot side. Malrang Trivi ready to respond. Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Jezu. Oh. Nice tumble. Here comes the yeah, charge. Comes the charge. You can get extra money. They're focused down on Gilly's to try to lock him up. But now, forced to attack each other for a brief moment on the Berserk. Flash out. Bit of poke coming back. In the meantime, pushing in on the top side yeah. is Gen X. He's forced to comp out of lane. Look I really want to set up back towards the bot side. Keep that pressure up again. And we'll see how SK respond. Arrow, Arrow mid. Arrow, Surtus. Ooh, still gets hit here. Massive. Clipped, knocked back into the Pantheon. The alley oop. Surtus now walking out to safety, trying to make it out to safety. Fine. Treats. That was every. That was all of their damage. Just lived. I was surprised that Larson didn't pull him towards. LeBlanc is low. This is very high risk, but they're killing it fast enough, courtesy of the true, uh, the true silver, to make it out. Yeah, Rogue really slow to respond First again. They get a get a herald. They get a dragon. They get plates over to their vein. Bot tower is lower than on Rogue's side, and it is on SK side. Surprisingly, on this bot matchup and with the globals that they had, so Rogue need to find something. There's another arrow. Gonna cancel, cancel Surtis' base. If he hits this, that's big. That's very big. Oh, Using Larson. The to block with the can, going in for the kill. Gilly is now going in. He wants to take down Larson. He's got Rainbow. He's dead. Oh, no. Here comes the, the Pantheon. Pantheon. No. Can they stop it? They knock him back. The tower doesn't quite hit him. Larson ticking. Larson oh. burning the knock up. Gilly walks away. Oh, my God. Surtis used the clone to block. Souls and... that are like, try jumping. Try hitting the yeah. wall. You do it every time. Yeah, of course. You know it's a bait, but you have to get hyped. You can't just ignore the message. Hidden wall ahead. There it is. You gotta hit it. These Ash arrows, are they the real hit and wall? We'll find out. Uwamne, two man knockout. Harold charging in the meantime. Audience clapping. They're getting hyped. They're getting ready. The Shivana damage on the ground is massive. Here it comes. Second charge. Here Rogue. comes Rogue. They're not gonna mess this one up. I feel it. They're feeling confident. Ooh, but right into the ulti. Oh, he's gonna get out. Full confidence. Can Maorang ward and W him? So yes, he is. Oh, so close. Oh, Maorang has to be so annoyed right now. I would be pissed. I don't even. I mean, there's no unstoppable left because he doesn't have the all disrespect as well. He's just running past Auto Amity. Arrow. Arrow, chain CC, Pantheon coming. Gen X, was it worth it? Was it worth it, Gen X? Roll yes, it was. Find the kill, the <laughs> shutdown. That is huge. As the dragon will. Fall. And here comes the five v five. Yeah. For now, Jess is doing what he can to clear the wave in the mid lane. This is one of big uh, Vayne's big historic weaknesses is her wave clear. Oh, another is pretty one. trash. Arrow onto Gilius, the chain CC. But now, the hostile takeover. Gilius still standing for now. He will go down, but can they keep the fight going? Larson out of the side. A dragon lead it. A dragon out of nowhere. Find the kill. Jess, you're now going for more. Comp, you cannot outrun this Vayne. Uh, can he get the Q ulto? Might... Yes, he can outrun the Vayne. It's like an Elder Ring. Dragon just come out of nowhere. Boom. That's what the ghost is for. It's genius. Normally nah, you can't him. outrun him. Now he can with the ult and the ghost, but it's a one for one. And SK will get the dragon. Rogue initial pick looked great. 5v4 kicks off, but I think Genax just almost solo killed Larson on the side. We'll have to see it again. Like this is the most broken thing I've seen in my life. Yeah, so it's five armor and MR base that she gets, and then she gets five extra for every dragon right now. So she's sitting at 20 armor and MR bonus. She's, she's everything they ever wanted. for right now. Ooh. Will they go for it? Or they let it slip. Okay, there it is. Here they Engaging go. Engaging onto the poppy. Oh, 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 oh Gen X on the backside. That is one very big dragon. Sir, just trying to leap company. He's able to do it. He's now leap back. That's the shutdown. Massive. The DOT coming through. Gen X just untouchable. This dragon is it's huge. so broken. Talked about it. Look at him just murder the backline. Here comes Jezu. He's not even needed. It's Gen X versus the world. They are slaughtering Rogue right before our eyes. One of the top three teams in our league oh. laid low by SK, and they might 
They're just gonna break up with the base. Yeah, right they're here. gonna end, I think, 45 seconds on Odo, 30 seconds on Comp. Trimby can't wave clear. He'll just instantly die. SK is just gonna take the game. The demonic embrace finished off Comp, I believe. And the flank from the solo laners was perfect. SK, solid win against Rogue. Oh, there's nothing they can do. Knocked down, knocked down. SK finding a massive upset in a day of upsets, holding on to hope in the playoffs as they find victory over Rogue. Massive performance from SK. Great macro, incredible map movements as well, I have to say, with the lane swaps. And Vedius looked at me backstage and he says, surely Rogue don't lose to SK, right? You're... <laughs> Not, and they only, lost. not only did they play the 1-3-1 in mid-game pretty clean, and they had a decent lead to do it, they didn't die to a composition that's like, whole point is to just murder people on side lanes. Like, how do you not die in the mid-game against Talia Pantheon? Yeah. I, it's incredible. Uh, LeBlanc, to SK. LeBlanc, Shyvana, too slippery, too hard to lock down. Shout it, out to it, that person with the Jezu sign. You, that's fate right there. Credit to you. And uh, it was one of those games where Rogue had to do something early, yes. But once he got to mid to late game, if they didn't yes. actually get a lead, there's nothing they can do. I, I, like they're